Yesenia Star. Some of you know me very well. You, my brother, Jeffree Star. My brother's more famous and more porcelain and more harps looking than I am. But together we have seen many, many needles and many plastic surgeons to get us looking like this. Some even say we're almost identical. We have different mothers, as you can tell. I have more of the Spanish side, and my brother Jeffree Star has more of the Caucasian side. That's why my parents call me Jesenia Star. Cause y'all bitches know who got more flavor. Bitches better recognize. This wig has me looking like a freaking cunt. I came here not to introduce to you the next YouTube sensation, Daisy Tavares. Because she's going to show you how to get a beautiful makeup look using the palette that my brother Jeffree Star just came out with. For those asking now, my brother and I have never had a competition in whose face is more chiseled. Like Daisy's video and subscribe to her channel. Thank you for supporting our work. Even though it's more Jeffree Star, my brother, and he never ever gives me any freaking credit of anything, bitches! I love you, bitch. Bitch! Get out of my way. I love you, bitch. <laughs> In the event that you don't have this palette, you don't have to have the exact colors or the exact product. What you want to do is let it inspire you. And if you have colors in your collection that are close to it, then that's what you want to go ahead and grab. So I'm going to use Safer. And for this, I'm going to use a nice fluffy blending brush. And this is by Sigma the E40. So this color, I concentrate right at the crease area. And then I bring it up a little bit higher. And as you bring it up higher, you want to apply less pressure to your brush. So I end up holding it pretty much right at the end. The closer you hold the brush like this, the more color you deposit. So now I'm going to pick up this amazing color called Military. And the brush that you want to use for this is a flat shader brush. And it should look something like this. These are dense brushes and so they end up packing a lot of color. They pick up a lot of color. Sigma and this is the E55. So what I do is just pat it so I can make sure that all the pigment remains exactly where I put my brush. What I'm going to do is take that same military color and apply it on the bottom of my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. This doesn't have a name but it's just fluffy and really soft. Jordana and it's like a light blue type of color. I will be dipping into Poison. Pick up a smaller brush, almost like a pencil brush, just so that it can help you get right where you want to. I went ahead and applied my concealer just to save time for this video. For falsies today, I will be going in with Goddess by Coco Lashes. And I will be right back. To highlight the inner corners, I will be going in with frosting. Such a pretty name. And what I'm going to do is wet it so that the highlight can be even more blinding. For bronzing today, I'm going to pull out my Benefits Chica Thaw. I'm obsessed with this highlighter. This is by Cover FX and it's Moonlight. Okay, I will go in with my Sparkling Dust by Ingram. Lipstick today, Whirl by MAC. Just want to throw in really quick what I think about the palette. I think it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's cruelty free, it's vegan products, and the colors are true to form. Whatever you see here is exactly what you get as far as pigmentation in your eyes. It's soft, it's velvety, they are not hard to blend at all. They have a little bit of kickback, but nothing that will make or break this palette. 
It's just soft and powdery. The colors here are beautiful and unique. Like this military green is not something that you see often. And you can use this for every day because you have your gorgeous neutrals right here, even right here. And then a few pop of colors right here that would just make this palette stand out a little bit more. And I mean, look at the pigmentation on this is ridiculous. This is Charmed. This is Dominatrix. And this is Deja Vu. If you guys know the drill, I will catch you on my next adventure. Yeah.